and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the 70 Weaver quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Kugane at um, 11.8, and we need to talk to Kamei. So the quest is called Send Me an Angel. We'll get Stroke of Genius and one of each of the uh, Tier 5 crafting materials. So the flighty behavior of his precious butterfly weighs heavy on Kamei's heart. So, Mistress Menafil, I have the most wonderful news. Our butterfly is a gecko once more. They say Kotocho devoted herself to even the most menial of her tasks with such diligence that she quickly won over even the strictest of her seniors. She will make her triumphant return at Kugane Odari, the greatest spectacle in our fair city, where veteran gecko and fledging Mako alike take the stage in a vivid display of all cultural riches the Hanamachi has to offer. The festivities are held once each year, and as tradition goes, the gecko who earn the highest acclaim takes her place atop the flower district until such time as she is dethroned at a future event. As you might imagine, uh, Kotosori has held that position uh, since, well, since as long as I can remember. So there has, however, been a most unexpected turn of events. Just the other day, uh, Kotosori announced that she will only be withdrawing from the festivities, uh, but retiring from the um, Hanamachi altogether. Rumor has it that she is to wed. The suddenness of it all has the flower district in a state of disarray. That said, this could very well be the chance of a lifetime for our butterfly. So I thought at least, uh, yet for reasons I cannot comprehend, when I asked what she would wear this time, she simply lowered her head and walked away. It is entirely unlike the girl to be so glum on the eve of what very well might be the chance of a lifetime. Is it possible that she harbours a worry that she might be ashamed to discuss with me? I cannot say, but... Um, I would ever be so grateful if you could talk with her in my stead. Okay, so let's go and find her. She is around the corner, so let's go. Okay, so here we are. So, ah, Mistress Menifil, have you come to congratulate me on my promotion? You're always so kind. Sadly, I'm afraid I'm not much in the mood for celebration. So, thank you, friend, but you have heard the news, yes? Kotosuro is leaving the Hanamachi, never to return. However can this be? It embarrass me, me to say this, but were it not for Kotosuru, um, I would not be the gecko I am today. As a child, I saw her twirl across the stage at the Kugane Odori, and it moved me so as nothing I had seen before. In that instant... I knew I would give anything to dance besides her one day. Um, at the Bogyo's banquet, my dream was finally realized. In the end, my performance was not worthy of sharing the same stage. And yet still, deep down, the little girl inside me was giddy as could be. This is what sustained me as I scrubbed the floors and folded the kimono of girls years my junior. Knowing that if I did what was asked of me, the day would come that I could once more stand next uh, to she who taught me everything, and this uh, time prove my true worth. But now that day will never come, and so I have told the young master I will need, sorry, I will have need of his gifts no longer. To take the stage with this empty heart would only bring shame to him and the flower district itself. You have been most kind to me, but I would be alone with my thoughts for a while. I tell Master Kamei I am sorry. Okay, so she's having second thoughts about everything. So I'm sure that we will fashion her a dress so beautiful that she can't help but resist. Okay, so let's talk to him. So, oh, thank the Kami you return. You have spoken with my butterfly, yes? What is it that pains her? I 
I see. Without her rival and role model to bring her focus, uh, Kotocho has lost the will to go on. The poor girl, why must she torture herself so? That said, it is quite like her. Uh, once she has set her mind to something, she is not easily swayed by the words of others. It can be one of her most enduring qualities, and at times like this, one of the most frustrating. Well, she sounds like me. So, as the girl's patron, it is my duty to support her in any way I'm able. To do to this point, this has mostly taken the form of tangible gifts. Uh, but it would seem my butterfly requires a different sort of favour from us this day. Mr. Smenafel, might you be so kind as to accompany me to speak with uh, Kotosuru? Uh, we may yet be able to convince her to consider her decision. She is known to frequent the piers at this time of night. I will be along as soon as I have uh, seen the matters around the shop. Thank you, my friend. Cool. So let's go. We need to teleport now to Pier 1. Well, if it isn't the adventurer that full child is always imposing on, whatever brings you here? So, Kotosuru, you must hear us out. A young girl's very life hangs in the balance. Must you always be so dramatic? You are free to make your own plea, though I, of course, am free to deny it. I beg of you, Kotosuru. Pray postpone your retirement. If only for a fortnight, say that you will dance at the Kugane Ori one last time. Forgive me, but I believe this uh, life is my own to live. To tell the truth, I have already put off my marriage quite long enough. Though I am getting um, no younger, I could not very well leave the Hanamachi without knowing I had a worthy successor, one who could lead the flower district for years to come. But things are different now. There is at last one who could follow in my footsteps. She is already a favourite of the crowds. And though once she, so once she stumbled, she has risen again with newfound humility to temper her passion. I would step aside and let her take centre stage. Meanwhile, the girl of whom you speak is saying that she may never dance again. This is why we have come to you, Kotosuru. You must help us save our butterfly. Whatever would you need of me? You are her patron, are you not? It is you and Mistress Menefil who have supported her through her most taxing trials, not I. Uh, you are what she herself strives to be. You are the one who gave her a dream. We may be her patrons and f her friends, but you, Kotosuro, you are the one she always looked up to, and what she herself one day would be. The girl has come far, but she is still a girl. Without you to guide her, to challenge her, to be more than um, who she is today, she is as good as lost. One last chance to share the stage with her idol, to prove herself worthy. This is all my butterfly wants, and if she is deprived of it, it will haunt her for the rest of her days. We beg of you, Kotosuro, do not abandon the child in her moment of need. You would propose another contest? Be forewarned that I would not take the challenge lightly. Um, if I were to defeat her again, who is to say uh, she would not flee the Hanamachi with her tail between her legs? If that is how it goes, um, it would only show that she was not ready to carry on your legacy after all. If that is the case, um, it is better you learn uh, now rather than later, no? Indeed. Um, harsher, the words than, harsher words than I would expect to hear from you, Kamei. And yet, there is truth in them. Very well. I will acquiesce to your request. 
you will see me on stage at the Kagane Odori on one condition. Uh, Koto, sorry, Koto Cho and I will don the same dress and dance the same dance, a dance of my choosing. We shall perform the ancient dance that came to Hingashi from Doma in long days long past. The uh, uh, Tenyo no Mei. Let's hope that, that doesn't translate to dabbing. So the dance of an angel lured down from her uh, sequestered home in the sky. Uh, but Doma custom dictates that all who dance the Tenyo no Mei must wear a Tenyo um, Hagoromo in the classic tradition, of course. Simply nothing else will do. Now, Master Kamei, I trust that you will be seeing to my attire as well um, as that of your precious butterfly, yes? But of course, it would be our pleasure, right, Mistress Manifil? You may consider it a wedding present from both of us to you. That said, this is quite unprecedented. I cannot recall the last time a dance of ancient Doma was performed at the Kugane Odori, much less the time when two leading gecko performed in identical garb. You seek to level the playing field to ensure that this is a test of pure skill? Very astute, Kame. For all your posturing, at times I look in your eyes and see the man who found me in the tea houses, who bought my, me my first kimono so many years ago. Father, uh -huh. at any rate, consider all of your conditions accepted, uh, Kotosuro. For all that you have done and will do for my butterfly, I thank you. And with that, I should return to the flower district. You look forward to my present, Mistress Manifil. So, well, that was about as well as... Sorry, that went about as well as could be expected. Still, we haven't any time to lose. Let us meet back at the shop. I will send for Kotocho. Okay. So it would seem we are all here. Excellent. Kotocho, there is something you must know. Uh, wait, young master. Before that, there is something I would say as well to both of you. You have been so gracious to me, lavishing upon me presents I scarce deserve. But I fear I can accept your patronage no longer. Whatever passion for my art I once had burns within me no longer. And so I will be leaving the flower district forever. Wait, my sweet butterfly. Um, have you not heard the news? Uh, Kutsusuru has agreed to give one last performance at the Kugane Odori. What's more, she has issued a personal challenge to you. What could this be? She has, however, given her conditions, the two will perform as one, um, as a one, the Tenyo no Mei, the dance of ancient Doma, and do so clad in identical Tenyo Hagoroma fashion by Mistress Menafil's hand. Um, can my ears be believed? I will not only share the same stage with Kotosuro, but don the same dress and dance the same dance. A change of plans, young master. Your butterfly will not be retiring after all. After all, we must uh, send Kotosuro off in grand fashion, must we not? Mistress Menafil, might I trouble you with one last commission? Those are the eyes uh, burning with passion that stole my heart that day. We stand by your side as ever, my butterfly. Pray show us the dance of your lifetime and give Kotosuro the wedding present that only you could provide. Young Master, uh, Mistress Menifal, words cannot convey my gratitude for all you have done for me. I promise that you have done this uh, time Sorry, I promise you that this time will be different. No, I will not shirk my training for even a moment. But what am I uh, doing still here? I must begin at once.
So this will be the final piece I ask of you, friend. I need not impress upon you the gravity of it all. For my part, I can assure you I have spared no expense in procuring the finest of materials. Fabrics of the purest white, so pure uh, one would think that they were weaved by the angels themselves. White to symbolize Kotosuro's betrothal and Kotocho's rebirth. A traditional garment of the East, it will doubtless be unlike any dress you have fashioned before. But I trust in your talent and um, all you have learned since coming here to Kagane. I am most looking forward to seeing your um, Hagoromo. Okay, so obtain the materials from Yagiri. So welcome back, friend. I trust that you have come for the fabrics your master has prepared. They are yours. So the Tenyo no Mei, as Doma legend has it, was first danced to entice an angel down from a castle in the sky in which she uh, sequestered herself. It is a dance with a storied history. It is not surprising that Kotosuro, with her deep appreciation for tradition, would make such a choice. And yet, to my knowledge, it is rarely performed by two dancers in tandem. Doubtless Kotosuro is looking to give the audience um, at her final Kugane Adori the show of their lives. It would seem that the veteran has high hopes for Kotocho as well, but can the young butterfly truly live up to her mentor's demanding expectations? I, for one, will be on the edge of my seat. Cool. So I need to craft two of them. So let's see, 10. Okay. So synthesize. Go. Okay, so that's one. Let's make the second one. Okay, so that's the two of them made. Let's hand them in. So, is that what I think it is? I knew I could count on you, friend. So we're handing in two of these. It says, a uh, Buliu Kimono, a Far Eastern design named for angelic beings from Hinjun folklore. So, excellent. I will not spoil the moment by looking upon them here and now. Uh, no, I will deliver the dresses to the Hanamachi at once. You have my most sincere gratitude for all that you have done for us. Pray do not miss the festivities. I am quite certain it will be a spectacle for the ages. So, ah, there you are, Mistress Menafil. Uh, Kotocho and Kotosuru are set to take the stage at any moment now. So, just look at them, my friend. If such a thing were possible, I could swear that two angels descended from the heavens. Stand before my our very eyes. Every glance, every movement in perfect unison. It's as if the two of them breathe as one. Is this still our mortal world we live in? Pray pinch me, friend, that I might be certain um, I have not spirited away to a land of dream and fancy. I mean, I can pinch you with my fist, if that would help. On second four. Uh, stay your hand. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, for even if we were trapped in a fantasy, never to return whence we came, if I could watch uh, these two for all eternity, I would gladly accept such a fate.
Did you like the wink? So I have no words for the beauty I just witnessed. It's as if I am lost in a dream from which I hope never to wake. So you can thank Mistress Menafil for that. From the moment I wrapped myself in this Hagoromo, um, it was as if I had truly transformed into an angel. Um, in all my years on stage, I have never felt as if I, I did this day. Um, it was as if our bodies and souls were one. So I knew not where one of us ended and the other one began and to think that i almost left the hanamachi without ever having experienced the rapture of this night so kutsusuro forgive the headstrong foolish girl you knew and know that the woman who stands before you understands all that you have done um through for me through the years and thanks you from the bottom of her heart It would appear our contest has ended in a draw, but I would have no other have it no other way. Once I dreamed of the day when I would surpass you, but today a new dream is born inside of me. All that you have given me, I will share with those around me. The young master, uh, Mistress Menafil, and all those in Kagane, citizen and wayfarer alike. Um, who would honour me with their patronage. The flower district will be in safe hands. Farewell, my dear sister, and may happiness fill the rest of your days. Uh, thank you, my dear, but let us save the farewells for the proper occasion, shall we? Um, or is the shining star of the Hanamachi in such demand that she would refuse an invitation to perform at my ceremony? Okay, so let's finish off the quest. So, Mistress Menifil, you truly outdid yourself this time. I have not the words to convey the full depths of my gratitude. With Kotosuro's retirement, the changing of the guard is complete. Kotocho will assume her place atop the ranks of the Gecko, where she will lead the Flower District into a new era. Uh, great changes are coming, no doubt, but I am confident the Butterfly is up to the task. After that ethereal performance, uh, word has it um, it all in the Hanamachi uh, feel the same. Uh, I spoke with the girl just before you came. She says that henceforth she intends to perform in both the Eorzean dresses you fashioned for her and the traditional kimono handed down to her by Kotosuro. In this way, she says, she would usher the flower district into the future, while taking care never to lose sight of the traditions of the past. Oh, and how the girl has grown. My apologies, it is unlike me to get so emotional, and this, I do believe, marks the most successful conclusion of our contract. Thank you, my friend, and rest assured that my butterfly will see that your sublime fashions do not go to waste. I do hope that your sojourn um, in Kugane has been a fruitful one. After all, mayhap your countrymen in Eorzea might have interest in Hinjan fashions, as we have taken an interest in yours. But forgive me, this is but a humble suggestion. Till our paths cross again, safe travels, my friend. Cool, so that's complete. So in heightening your aesthetic sensibilities as a weaver you have learned stroke of genius cool so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri bye guys